Lux presents Hollywood. The Lux Radio Theater brings you Wallace Beery in The Champ with Josephine Hutchinson, Noah Beery, and Bobby Larson. Ladies and gentlemen, your producer, Mr. Cecil B. DeMille. <laughs> Greetings from Hollywood, ladies and gentlemen. The scene is a rushing trout stream deep in the heart of Wyoming. The time late afternoon and a burly-looking man in old clothes is patiently casting a fly in likely-looking pools. The trout are ignoring him completely. I think it's partly due to this lack of cooperation from the trout that we were able to lure Wallace Berry back to the hustle and bustle of Hollywood. The bait we used was a play called The Champ, adapted from a Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer picture, in which Wally gave one of his most memorable performances. Just before this brief vacation... Our star finished another picture at Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer with the intriguing title, Jackass Mail. Tonight in The Champ, we've surrounded him with a fine cast that includes Josephine Hutchinson, Noah Beery, and Bobby Larson. The Champ is an inspiring story of a father and his boy, a prize fighter and his son who face the world and fight the good fight together. As a team, they're invincible because the bond of devotion between them and stand all the tough luck the world throws their way. This drama is a tribute to the courage and stout hearts of all champions, from 8 to 80. And so I know it will thrill both you and those American boys in the armed forces who hear this program far from home. Putting those armed forces on wheels and wings is going to keep American industry working day and night for a long time to come. There'll be a smaller supply of goods for sale on the home front. And that means we've got to make things last. In the case of stockings, rayon, wool, and other washable fabrics, that's a job made to order for Lux Flakes. And the Lux way of doing the job has been tested in two kinds of scientific laboratories. There's the kind where serious-looking gentlemen in spotless white rooms are surrounded by charts, retorts, and miles of glass tubing. And then <laughs> there's the other kind where a smiling young woman turns on the faucet and does a little home defense work on the family wardrobe. Of course, it's Lux Flakes that has brought the smile to her face. Right now, we'll put some smiles on your faces with the first act of The Champ, starring Wallace Beery in the title role, Josephine Hutchinson as Linda, Noah Beery as Tony, and Bobby Larson as Dink. <laughs> Just below the California border lies the sprawling little town of Tijuana, famous during the Prohibition era as a mecca for American tourists. Its muddy, unpaved streets were an endless procession of bars and gambling halls where the tourist and native rubbed shoulders in an atmosphere of desperate gaiety, of noise and smoke and the spicy odors of Mexican food. The streets are ablaze now for its Saturday night, and the town is at its merriest. Threading his way through the crowd comes a ragged, dirty-faced boy, Dink Purcell. Though he's only seven, he walks with confidence, for Dink is at home in this boiling border town. Hello, Dink. Hello, Jose. You seen the champ? Your papa? No, I have not seen him tonight. Well, if you do, tell him I'm looking for him, will you? Sure, I will tell him. Hi there, Dink. Hello, Mary. You seen the champ? I bowled his bar. I did. He ain't there. I wouldn't know then. Hey, Dink, where are you going, Dink? Come here, Jonah. You ain't seen the champ, have you? Not me. No, sir. I gotta find him. There's a couple of guys waiting up at the creek to see him. They got a fight lined up for him. A fight? Your old man ain't a fight in a long time. That don't make no difference. He's still the greatest fighter in the world. Sure, Dink. I didn't say nothing. The champ wins this fight. He said he'll buy me a horse. A real horse? Well, what you think? A wooden one? A real horse? Man, oh, man. Come on, Jonah. You can help me look for the champ. Okay. Maybe it's down to Louis' place. Yes, sir, Louis, I'll tell you. 
If I get a crack at this big Mexican, I'm back right where I was, Louis. Yeah, top of the heap. World's champion again, I'll huh? be the world's champ again. You just watch and see. Sure, I'll watch. Now, that's a buck forty on me, champ. Want to pay now? Sure, oh, sure. Hey, champ, champ. Well, well, if it ain't the little spitball. How you, Dink? Gee, champ, I've been looking all over for you. Those promoters, they're up at the Greeks waiting for you. They are? Doggone it, I forgot all about it. You got to straighten up, champ. Come on. Sure, sure. Hey, Jonah, get some ice. And tell Curly to open our can of tomatoes. Okay, Dink. Say, what's the matter with you? I'm all right. They've been there for over an hour. Gosh, champ, why'd you have to go and forget? You might have spoiled everything. <laughs> hey, Louie, this is that kid of mine bawling me out. He's rough on me, that kid is. Oh, I'm going to be good from now on, Dink. No kidding. Yeah, you said that yesterday. I know, but this time I mean it, honest. Here's the ice, Dink. Okay, rub the back of his neck with it. Oh, cut it out, will you? Tomatoes, kid. Come on, champ, drink this. Listen, I don't like that stuff. You got to straighten up. Come on, drink it. One, two, three. That's right. Hit a boy, champ. <laughs> That's terrible. You all right now? Sure, I'm fine. Fix your hat. We got to look right when we meet those guys. Where are they? Come on, bring them on. They're at the Greeks, I told you. Sponge is there, too. He's giving you a big build-up. What do you mean, Sponge is giving me a build-up? I don't need no build-up. I know, champ. Sponge is just helping. Now, come on. And don't let on to the map. That anything's wrong, huh? Don't you worry, Dink. They won't guess. Uh, but why nothing gets me away. Shows the champ wearing a diamond belt. Looks great, don't he? Yeah, he looks fine, Sponge, but that was six years ago. What we want to know is, how does he look right now? Yeah, same way, absolutely. He'll be here in a minute. You can see for yourself. That's what we're waiting for, Sponge. Well, now, uh, suppose we talk, though, huh? Now, my idea was this. Andy can still draw a big gate in San Diego or anywhere. Now, I think we should be entitled to at least 20% of the gate. Hi, boys. Hi. Champ. Sponge, Sponge. He's working out in the gym. Now, sit down, champ. You must be tired. Thanks, Dink. Well, gentlemen, what's your proposition? Well, I was just talking that over with the boys, champ. I was Wait saying a minute, we... wait a minute. Let us do a little talking for a change. How's your condition, Andy? Who, me? Oh, I'm fine. You only have to look at me to know that. Yeah. Two or three punching bags loose only last week. Didn't you, champ? Sure. Stand up, Andy. Well, what for? We well... want to take a look at you. Okay, sure. What do you think, huh? Here, feel that arm. It's hard as rock. Why, well, I'm as good now as... Uh, pardon me, must have been something I had. Yeah, seen enough, Harry? I guess so. Well, now that we're all set, what about the gate? We ought to get 20% at least. We're giving it to you, Sponge. All of it. Huh? The fight's off. Sorry, Andy, no can do. I don't get No, you. you've probably heard this before. Maybe the night you lost the championship. Booze fighting and prize fighting don't mix, Andy. Oh, what are you talking about? There's nothing the matter with me. Nothing, see? Sit down, Andy, before you trip over your stomach. Come on, Harry. Yeah. Sorry, champ. Yeah, well, that settles that. A fine time you picked, champ. Tonight of all nights, you have to go out and oh, shut, shut up. Oh, shut up. Go on, get out of here. Go on, get out. Okay. Go on. Hey, Dink. Dink, come here. You don't believe what that guy said about me, do you? About not being right when I lost the championship? Hmm, Dink? No. You know I wouldn't lie to you, don't you? Yeah, sure. Ah, right up, boy. Well, I guess I'll hit the hay. Don't bend over. I'll unlace your shoes. Oh, no. I can do that. Give me your foot. Dink, listen. I'd have been all right tonight, only, well, you know, there's some people invited me and. You know how it is, don't you, huh? Sure. Lay down on the bed. I'll pull your pants off. Oh, say, you don't have to treat me like I couldn't take care of myself. Go ahead. You ought to get some sleep. All right. Uh-oh. What's that? A dollar? Here. I guess it's the last we got, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Here, Dink. Spit on it, Dink, just for luck. Go ahead. Okay. Add up, boy. You know, things are going to change, Dink. Wait, you'll see. I'm going to behave myself from now on. Word of honor. Why, I'm even going to quit gambling. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Did you hear what I said, Dink? Yeah. 
I heard you. Yeah. Uh, ain't you coming to bed? In a little while. Dink. I'm awful sorry. Honest, I am. Good night, Dink. Good night, champ. <laughs> Here, come on, wake up. Wake up, wake up. It's morning. Come on, wake up. Oh, what's up there? Oh, come on, get out of bed. I got something to show you. What? Listen, Dink. Remember that dollar that you spent on last night for luck? Well, I took it out this morning and it sure brought it. Eight passes, one after another. Yeah, and I thought you wasn't going to gamble no more. Oh, gee, I forgot, Dink, but I, I won plenty of money. It ain't wrong when you win, is it? Here, look, see this watch? That's for you, Dink. Thanks, champ. Hey, what's the matter? Nothing. Swell. Well, I guess I'll get dressed. Wait a minute. Here, come over to the window. Now look down there in the street. See what Sponge has got down there? He's got a horse. Yeah. You think you could cut into that? You mean that that, that the horse yes, is... Yes, the horse. He's yours. Mine? Mine? Oh, boy, let me see him. Hey, hey, come back here. Put your pants on. You can't go running around without your pants. Easy, fella. Easy, boy. Oh, gee, gee, he's wonderful. Where'd you get him, champ? I want him from Joe. And he's mine? All mine? Sure, just like what I said. He's a racehorse, ain't he? Well, he, he ran in a race once. He could be a winner, though, couldn't he, Sponge? Sure. After I work on him for a little while, he'll make the grade. Gee. His name is Butterfly. Butterfly. That's a heck of a name for a horse. We gotta change it. Okay. What'll we call him? Wait. I know. We'll call him Little Champ. You're the big champ because you're the best fighter in the world. And he's a little champ because he's going to be the greatest racehorse in the world. Say, that's not a bad idea. And we can start getting him ready and put him in a race right away. Sure. Sponge will have him set in no time. Oh, gee. Thanks, champ. <laughs> What'd you find out, Jonah? The odds is way against us, Dean. Huh? Little champ. They got him now at 20 to 1. Yeah? Who's the favorite? Horse by the name of Blue Boy is the favorite. He is over there. See? They're taking pictures of him. Come on. I want to take a look. Uh, one side, please. Oh, uh, Mr. Carlton. Mr. Carlton. Yes? I'm from the San Diego Herald. Would you and Mrs. Carlton mind posing for a picture with Blue Boy? <laughs> Not at all. Well, Linda, we're going to have our pictures taken. Oh, how nice. Uh, Blue Boy is Mrs. Carlton's horse, isn't he? He is. A birthday gift from my husband. <laughs> well, he's the favorite today. Who? My husband? <laughs> oh, a little to the right, please. Thank you. Not at all. Horses to the post, please. Jockeys up. Say, lady, I wouldn't bet on that horse if I was you. You wouldn't? If you got any money, you'd better put it on my horse. There he is, just going out. Oh, he does look very good. He's going to be the winner. Then we must be sure and bet on him. What's his name? Little champ. And what's your name? Dink. What's yours? Linda. I think Dink is a very nice name. Mm, Lynn ain't a bad name, either. Tony, dear, put $50 on little champ. Sure. I'll see you up in the box. You won't be sorry, lady. No, ma'am. You sure won't. Oh, I, I haven't been introduced to this gentleman. Oh, he's Jonah, my pal. Jonah, shake hands with Mrs. Linda. How do you do? Yes. He's colored. <laughs> so he is. A very nice color. Come on, Lady Luck. Snap it up, folks. Snap it up. Oh, hello, Mr. Carlton. Oh, hello. Fifty to place on Little Champ, please. Hey, right. give me twenty on Little Champ, will you? Twenty on Little Champ. Hey, excuse me, Mister. I. Hello, Andy. Uh, hello, Carlton. I thought you never came out west. We're spending the winter in California. We meaning? Uh... Yes, Linda and I. Yeah, well, that's good enough. No more bets, folks. They're at the post. They're all... They're all... You look as though you'd seen a ghost, Tony. I have, Linda. I saw Andy. Andy? Where? Look down there, by the rail. Yes, I see him. You see the boy with him? Why, it, it's the same one who... Tony! Yes. Come on, little chap! Come on, little chap! Take it easy, Dink. Take it easy. Come on, come on, little chap! 
keep your hands to yourself, will you, Dink? Look at him. Say, if you don't quit beating on me, I'll murder you. All right, all right. He's broken his leg. Oh, Jim. Oh, take it easy. He's all right, kid. Look, he's getting up. See, he's okay. Just winded, that's all. Gosh, I've got to see him. I've got to see him. Think the nag's okay, Sponge? I guess so. He looks all right from here. Tough break, huh? Tough on that kid. Yeah, not so good on us, neither. We're clean again. Oh, well, we've been broke before. Come on, let's get out of here. Wendy. Yeah, what do you want? I'd like to see you alone. Yeah? Okay, come on. Spell it. Andy, is Dink Linda's child? Is he? Yeah, what about it? She'd like to see him, Andy. Yes, so what? Well, I think you ought to let her. Why? She washed us up both a long time ago, didn't she? Didn't she? Yeah, it was a mistake. Your marriage to Linda. I'd known her since she was a child and loved her. Yes, you was her class. I was just a runner-up who couldn't make the grade, so she gave me the gate. Oh, I'm sorry, Andy. Yeah, that does a lot of good. Let Linda see the boy, please. No, not a chance. The courts gave me the custody of the kid, and I'm keeping it. Besides, you got a kid of your own, ain't you? Yes, we have a little girl. But Dink is Linda's child, too. No, she's got you and a new kid. I got Dink. We all stay just as we are. She'd give anything in the world to talk to him, Andy. Anything? How much? I wasn't thinking in terms of money. Okay, then. Wait. Okay, Andy. Here's $100. Bring him over to the hotel tomorrow, and there'll be another 100 all right? Well, I'll tell you. I got to sleep on it. If I decide that I don't want to see him, I'll, I'll send this back to you. So long. <laughs> Mr. DeMille presents Act Two of The Champ, starring Wallace Beery, in just a moment. Now, it's a warm summer evening, and Betty's looking out her bedroom window, listening to the radio. The good old summertime. Well, I don't see what's so good about it. Everybody else has dates. But I'm stuck here in this stuffy old house. If only someone would say to Betty... Betty, dear, dates and romance come to girls who are charming. And without daintiness, no other charm counts. Why don't you protect daintiness? Lux under things every day. And suppose Betty took this advice. Why, then we'd hear... Lovely music. Oh, Tom, what fun we're having this summer. Oh, it's a wonderful summer, Betty, because of you. That's the way with Lux girls. They win admiration, romance so quickly because they have the irresistible charm of exquisite daintiness. New Quick Lux Flakes make it so easy to be sure of daintiness. Take away every trace of perspiration so quickly and safely. They keep under things like new longer, too, because Lux has no harmful alkali. And because with the instant Lux suds, there's no injurious cake soap rubbing. Yes, gentle Lux Flakes are kind to colors and fabrics. You're fastidious? And you're thrifty when you lux lingerie every day. Now, our producer, Mr. DeMille. Act two of The Champ, starring Wallace Beery in the title role, with Josephine Hutchinson as Linda, Nora Beery as Tony, and Bobby Larson as Dink. <laughs> It's only a few miles from the champ's dingy quarters in Tijuana to the sedate beauty of the American Hotel in Caliente. But it's a new world to Dink. In the living room of his mother's apartment, where the champ has sent him without a word of explanation, Dink is bewildered and ill at ease. At last, the door opens and Linda comes in. Hello, Dink. Oh, hello, Linda. I'm... I'm so glad to see you again, Dink. You are? I was wondering. Why? Oh, and I'm kind of losing that dope for you at the races. Oh, oh that doesn't matter. Ain't that the reason why you wanted to see me? No. It was a lot more important than that. Say, this ain't a bad duck you got here, Linda. I'm glad you like it. Champ and me ain't fixed up as swell as this, but I guess our joint's more lively. It's right over the Greek saloon. I like to listen to the piano playing and wait for the champ to come home night. 
Does your father leave you alone much? Oh, no. He takes me most every place, especially when he shoots stice. And good luck to him. You like your father very much, don't you? Champ is the greatest guy in the world. You ought to meet him sometime, Linda. I... I have met him, Dink. Hasn't your father told you who I am? No. Well, has he ever talked to you about your mother? Oh, yeah. She kicked the bucket before I was born. <laughs> Is that what he told you? Well, I heard it someplace. Dink, try to understand. I'm your mother, Dink. Oh, no. Yes, Dink, I am. My mother? So why aren't you living with a champ and me? Well, your father and I disagreed. I'm married to Mr. Carlton now. Then, then you ain't married to the champ anymore? No. Oh, well, then you ain't my mother. How could you be? <gasps> oh, Dink. <laughs> what are you crying about? Dink, I am your mother. Nothing that happened between your father and me can change that. Well, that's all right. You don't have to cry about it. I like you. Do you, Dink? Do you really? Sure. Only, well, I gotta go now. Dink, I wish you'd give me a kiss. Oh, no, Linda. I don't kiss things. <laughs> Please, Dink. What's the good in it? I'd like you to. Oh, well. Okay. So long. So long, Dink. Come down to Tijuana sometime. I'll show you around. <laughs> Linda, well, what happened, darling? He doesn't even want to know me. Oh, don't say that, darling. He, he just doesn't understand yet. How could he? Oh, Tony, if he grows up in that background, I'll blame myself all my life. We've got to get him out of it, Tony. We've got to. Be good to me, Dice. Come on, Dice. Come on, Papa. One mile to go. There she is. Oh, boy, Little Phoebe, shoot the whole work. Uh, take it easy, champ. You're way ahead of the game. Oh, don't bother me. Where's Dink? Hey, Dink, wake up. Come on, kid. You know what to do. Make the dice lucky for me, Dink. Oh, gee, champ. I've run out of spit. Come on, don't give me that. Okay. It's awful late, champ. Ain't we going to hit the hay soon? Oh, sure, soon. Oh, Eat it from Decatur. Oh, that ain't hard to make. I'm dying on my feet, champ. Come on home, will you? Oh, we can't quit now, Dink. We're going good. Yeah, that's it. Oh, oh holy Mikey, won again. Hey, champ. Yeah, what? Guy outside wants to see you. Oh, get out of here. I'm busy. He said it was important. Oh, His name's man. Carlton. Oh, yeah? Okay, here's Sponge. Take the dice. Shoot your own dodo. Okay, champ. I wanted to speak to you. Well, spill it. Andy, Linda and I have a proposition to make you. Yeah? We want you to give us Dink for six months. Yeah? Why? Well, because we want to help him. We want to do something for the boy. Like what, for instance? Well, send him to school, give him a different environment. He's got plenty of environment right here. I'm busy. Wait. I know that you love him, Andy, and Dink loves you. But this sort of light for a kid. Give the boy a chance. If you love him, Andy, you let Linda have him. I had a hunch it pull something like this. Why, I got to do a lot of counting to keep from smacking you down. Look, you see this dough? I got pretty close to four grand here. I'm going to send that kid to school, and I'm going to get him dressed up. Him and me's going to travel. What do you say to that? If we wanted to get nasty, Andy, we could take the boy away from you. You're not a very good father, you know. Why, you... Go on, beat it, Carlton. Get out, beat it. I'm sorry. But I thought I'd give it to you straight. Good night, Andy. Uh, hit the champ. Come on, champ. It's still your role. Give me those dice. Come on, spit on them, Dink. I uh, eat your sleep, champ. I'd like a light. All right, hey, never Dink. mind. Let him alone. I'm I'm shooting a hundred. Come on, dice. Show him some rolling. Oh, boy, look at him. Okay, champ. We're closing up. You want to sign that paper? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sign right here. It stinks horse, Whitey. I, I must have gone nuts gambling him away like that. That kid will die when he finds out. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you. If you can get the money within the next couple of days, I'll let you have him back. Okay, thanks. Dink. Dink, come on, wake up. We're hitting for home. Gee, 
What time is it, champ? Oh, it's morning. You want me to carry you? No, I got legs. Had bad luck, champ? Yeah, yeah, a lot of it. Well, tomorrow's another day. Don't worry about losing. Little champ will make it all back in the next race. Dink, listen. I got to tell you something. What's the matter? Well, we we ain't got little champ anymore. I lost him. Lost him? Yeah. You lost little champ? Oh, no. I'll get him back, Dink, just as soon as I get the money. But you gave him to me. Oh, don't take on that way about it, Dink. I didn't mean to do it. It just happened. Come on now. Keep that chin up. Everything's going to be all right. Give me a smile. Sure. I'm smiling. That's the way. I'll get him back, Dink. I don't know how, but but I'll get him. And it's it's three hundred bucks, Lindy. I wouldn't come to you, but you know how that kid loved that horse, and I promised I'd get him. You understand, don't you, Linda? Yes, Andy. I haven't got it now, but... Well, can I send it to you? Gee, thanks, Linda. I can't tell you how I appreciate it. If, if there's ever anything I can ever do for you, but there wouldn't be, would there? There might be, Andy. You could reconsider about letting us have Dink. Take him away from me? Can't you see how much we could do for him? A good home, a decent atmosphere, friends. We'll send him to a good military school. Yeah, I but... know all about that. Yes, and you said no. But what right have you to say no? Why don't you let Dink decide? Perhaps he'd like to stay with us. Ask him. Okay, Linda, I'll ask him. You will? You promise? I promise. Tortillas. Right, champ? Yeah. Send them down, Jose, and bring me some more water, will you? Right away. Uh, you want some more meat, Dink? No, corn. Yeah, here. Come on, help yourself. Oh, say, I almost forgot. I, I gotta ask you something. What? Well, <clears throat> you wouldn't like to go to a military school, would you? No. What's it like? Well, it's, it's like a prison. You... You wear a uniform. You got to march all the time. And they wake you up in the morning with a bugle. You wouldn't care for that, would you? No. No. And you wouldn't care to live in a great big house, would you? You know, a, a dump, biggest a barn. I mean, the sort of a place where you've got to be dressed up all the time and wash all over three or four times a day, huh? Wash three times a day? Nothing doing. No. You got the right idea, Dink. And look. I don't suppose you'd be crazy about going to one of them their colleges and sitting in an old room where you got to read books all day. That's out, too, huh? Books? Not for me. That's out. Sure. I kind of thought you'd feel that way, but I I had to ask you, though. Hey, champ. Oh, Whitey. You got him? Yeah, I got him. Got who? Now, who do you suppose? Little champ. I'm buying him back for you. Little champ? Where's he at? Down in my place. Oh, gee, I got him. <laughs> kind of happy, ain't he, huh? Yeah. You got my dough, Andy? Yeah, I got it, sure. Uh, 300 bucks, wasn't it? You know how much it was. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here you are. Here you are. It's 100, two, two. Oh, wait a minute. Guess the number on this bill, odd or even. Are you starting that again? Okay, okay. Lend me 10 bucks and I'll buy you a drink then. Bunny says that he looks like man of war when he can't run as fast yet. All he needs is practice. That's all. It's just like the champ. He didn't know as much about fighting when he first started as later on when he was world champion. It's the same with a horse. Sure. Say, something's going on across the street, Dean. Yeah? Let's go see. Look, there's a sheriff man. Wow. Somebody's getting pinched. Somebody's laying in jail today. Yes, sir. Hurry up. I want to see who. Let go of me. Let go of me, will you? Keep your paws off of me. Can a guy speak his mind without being dragged to jail? Oh, gee, it's, it's Champ Champ. Oh, hello, Dink. Oh, Champ. Oh, gee whiz. Yeah, I guess I did it again, Dink. Vamos, come along, you. No, 
Oh, let him alone. You can't take him. He's my father. Yeah, that is too bad. Move along. Uh, you can see him now, but you come out soon. Yeah, sure, sure. Hello, champ. Hello, Sponge. Oh, gee, you look awful. Ain't you slept any? No. No, I've been thinking. Oh, boy, what a joint. Say, what happened anyway? I hear you're acting up down at Joe's, and by the time I get there, they got you in a can. What was the beef, champ? Oh, what's the difference? Okay, okay. Where's Dink? Is he coming? Yeah, sure. He's, he's on his way now. He stopped off for something. Listen, Sponge, I... I've been thinking it all over. I'm giving Dink to his mother. Huh? I'm giving it him to her. I, I ain't no good. He'll be better off with her. It'll be tough making him go, but he's got to. Oh, gee. What'll you do without him? What'll he do without you? Oh, after a while, he'll forget me. Kids always do. Hey, Champ, I'm here. Here I am, Champ. Gee, what a dump, huh? Look, I brought you something to eat, Champ. I told Chili Mary to make it special for you. Look, just what you like. I ain't hungry. Take him home, Sponge, and pack his stuff, then take him over to the hotel to his mother. What? What for? Because I say so. You're going to stay with her from now on. Oh, no, Champ. I want to stay with you. Do you? Well, that, that's tough, because you're not going to. What am I going to do with her? Well, you're going to go to school, learn things, grow up to be somebody. Let her feed you for a while. I'm tired of feeding you. What with you eating all the time? I'm, I'm tired of having you hanging around every place that I go. I, I won't eat so much, Champ, and I won't hang around you. I'll stay up with the Greeks and wait till you come home night. No, you're going over to her. I'm saying you are, so you're going. I wish you wouldn't send me, Champ. I'll go to school here. I'll, I'll be somebody when I grow up. Somebody like you. No, no, you're going to your mother's. Do you hear me now? I don't want any sniveling out of you and no back talk. No, Champ. I ain't going. I ain't. You're going. I ain't. I'm staying with you. I... Do you hear me? Get out. <laughs> That'll learn you to argue. Go on. Beat it. Okay. Okay, Champ. I hit him. I hit him. Champ, what's the matter with you? I hit him. Slamming your hand against the wall like that. You want to break it? I hit him. I hit that kid of mine. Champ, stop it. I hit him. I hit him. I hit him. We pause now for station identification. This is the Columbia Broadcasting System. After a brief intermission, Mr. DeMille presents Act Three of The Champ, starring Wallace Beery. But now, Sally says you remember things better if they're rhymed. So here's a reminder for you. To make her precious stockings wear. Strong soap, the wise girl shuns. She always uses mild Lux Care. Because it cuts down runs. Yes, gentle Lux Flakes guard the elasticity of stocking threads so they can stretch and spring back into place again instead of breaking into runs. Strong soaps and rubbing with cake soap weaken elasticity, so your stockings can't take it when they're strained. They get dry and brittle, break easily into costly runs, like this. My, that's a sad thing to see nowadays, a run in your stocking. It is indeed, Sally. And when you see it, it's too late to do anything about it. Except mend it and wish it hadn't happened. The time to do something about stocking runs is before they happen. And the thing to do is to lux your stockings after every wearing. Lux cuts down runs. New quick lux suds take away soil and perspiration quickly and safely. And save the vital elasticity that a stocking must have if it's to fit and wear well. Cut down runs in all your stockings. Silk, nylon, the new rayons and lyles, too, with Lux Flakes. To make her precious stockings wear... Strong soap the wise girl shuns. She always uses mild Lux Care. Because it cuts down runs. Now, Mr. DeMille returns to the microphone. The 
curtain rises on the third act of The Champ, starring Wallace Beery, with Josephine Hutchinson, Noah Beery, and Bobby Larson. On a train speeding north toward Los Angeles, a forlorn little figure sits huddled by the window, his chin buried in the collar of his new suit. Dink is trying very hard not to cry. Sitting beside him is Linda, patient and understanding. I'm glad you decided to come with us, Dink. We'll have some fine times together. Just you wait and see. Are you sure you won't have some dinner, Dink? It's fun having dinner on the train. No, thanks. I ain't hungry. All right, darling. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I have some good news for you. Tony pulled some strings in Tijuana before we left, and your father's home again. You mean you, you got him out of jail? That's right. Well, oh, thanks a lot. Was he all right? Yes, he was fine. Did he, did he ask about me? Of course. And Tony told him you were getting along fine. Oh, that's what you'd want to tell him, wouldn't you? Oh, sure. Sure. I wouldn't want you to think that I... <laughs> that you know. Of course. <laughs> you... You have a little cold, haven't you? Huh? Oh, yeah. My eyes. They've been running something awful. Got a snap out of it. I thought everything would be okay when they sprung you out of jail and you're worse than ever. Not a couple of nights without some shut eye and you'll be a wreck. Oh, quit worrying. I'm okay. Okay for what? Listen, champ. If it's the kids you're worrying about, well, why don't I write to Linda and tell her to bring him down? Nix, now you keep out of this. That kid's in a good spot and he's going to stay there. Don't worry, Sponge. I'm, I'm just nervous. As soon as I get some sleep, I'll be fine. All he needs is just a couple of hours, that's all. Well, for... What was that? I don't know. I, I could have swore. Hello, champ. Why, Dink. I, I thought I'd come and see how you was. Why, Dink, oh, Dink. Oh, gee, champ. Go on, get outside, Sponge. Yeah, sure. Gee, Dink, but I'm... I'm awful glad to see you. Me too. I, I got a little cold. <laughs> yes, so have I. Say, you look swell. That suit ain't got much life to it, but it... It ain't bad. And oh, 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 you got a manicure. Yeah, he'll wear off, though. What happened to your hand? Oh, nothing. Just scratched it. Wait a minute. How did you get back here? I ran away, champ. I didn't like it up there. I mean, it was okay. But Will, you was right about the washing business. Three times a day, all over. Oh, gee, I, I'm sorry, Dink. It's all right. But I'm going to stay here now, champ. I gotta. Okay. Dink, you know what? I ain't had a drink since I got out of jail. And I've been off the dice, too. Gee, that's great. And starting tomorrow, I'm going into training. Yeah? I'm going to see them promoters in the morning. I'll make them get me a fight. I'll show them here. Look at the footwork, Dink, huh? Gee, you're light in your feet. You betcha. Here, feel that muscle. Boy, it's like iron. Steel? See any reason why I shouldn't make a comeback? No. I'll do it. I'll send you to school. I'll get you a lot of nice clothes. And as for manicures, say, I'll have a girl following us around just to do nothing but to take care of your fingernails. Couldn't we get a man to do that? Sure. Watch out, Dink. I'm going to do some sparring. Oh, boy, give it to him, champ. The old one, two. One, two. One, two. Get a boy, champ. Yeah. Oh, that's what'll happen to the next guy I'm up against. <laughs> hey, champ, you busted the washboard. Well, that's all right, forget it. After my next fight, we're going to wash in the sink. None of that there three times a day stuff either. Oh, boy, am I glad I come back. <laughs> Come on, give it something, Andy. Snap into it, will you? If it was a three-legged elephant, you couldn't be no slower than that. Oh, lay, lay off of me, will you? He'll be okay, Sponge. Hey, he'd be great at a Girl Scout's care he pulled. But this is a fight he's going into. Oh, fight down. Why don't you take a sock in him, champ? Oh, he, 
It ain't worth the trouble. Uh, you mean you ain't got the strength? All right, that's enough. Go on up to the room and take a sponge bath. Oh, I'll, I'll be okay. Wait till I get going. I'll kill that guy. Get going now. Oh. Up to the room. We got more to do this afternoon. Okay. See you later. Hey, yeah. Well, Sponge, how's he look? Oh, hello, Whitey. You was watching, wasn't you? Yep. Then you ought to know. Don't bet any dough on him. I figured that. Yeah, he's all shot, Whitey. Just ain't in him anymore. Wind's all gone, huh? Yeah, not enough left to play a harmonica with. The Mexican will make goulash out of him. Then ain't so. Hey, where'd you come from? I thought you beat it, Dink. I'll tell the chap what you said. Nick, you, you don't want to do that. Well, don't say things like that about him. He's going to come back. He's going to look the stuffings out of that palooka. Yeah, yeah, sure he is, Dink. Sure he is. Uh, going my way, Whitey? Yeah, I want to ask you a couple of more things. I've been talking to some of the boys down around the place. And they say that... Dink, hey, Dink, wait up. Ain't got time now, Jonah. I got to see the champ. Listen, Dink, this important. What? Just heard something. It's all against us, Dink. Those gambling fellas are laying six to one. The champ don't last three rounds. Six to one? Oh, they're crazy. That's what they're betting. Listen, the champ's gonna kill that guy. He he's in great shape. Maybe so, but they don't lose them gambling fellas, and they all say he's gonna get licked bad. Oh, shut up. Go on, beat it. Okay, Dean. Just thought I'd tell you. Six to one. He ain't got a chance. The champ ain't got a chance. Champ. Hello, Dink. Come on in. Boy, some workout, huh? Yeah. Tired, Champ? No. Well, a little bit. I had a lot of catching up to do, but I'm doing it. Champ, I want to talk to you about that. About what? About this here fight racket. I don't like it. How come? I thought you was all for it. Well, I've been thinking it over. You know, Champ, I like you lots better when you ain't training. Yeah? Yeah, for instance, when you got a couple drinks in you, you're a lot of fun. I thought you didn't like me drinking. I was wrong. Now that you quit gambling, I don't get a chance to spit in your dice anymore. Huh? I got practically nothing to spit on these days. Yeah, but look how I used to lose all my dough. We're much better off since I quit. I don't know. We used to have a lot of fun. Now you're training most of the time. We don't get to see so much of each other as we used to. It's all on account of this fight. Say, what are you talking about? You was world's champion once. Everybody knows that. What do we care about you being champ again? And fighting this Mexican ain't gonna get you much. If I win, and I'm going to win, it'll get me ten grand. Who cares about that? I do. With that dough, I'm going to send you to school. We're going to travel. I don't have to go to school. You didn't go, did you? No, and that's why you're gone. Say... You're not trying to get me to throw the fight, are you? No, champ. Okay, then. <laughs> I'm going to fight, see? And I'm going to lick the stuffing out of that guy. You understand? Sure. Sure, champ. Well, that's the last preliminary. We're on next, champ. All right. If this doctor ever gets through with me... What do you say, Doc? I'm okay, ain't I? Just a minute, Andy. I want to listen to that heart again, if you don't mind. Oh, cut it out. There ain't nothing wrong with me. Why, I never felt better in all my life. What do you say, Doc? Okay? Oh, uh, I guess so. There you are. I told you so. You're in pretty fair shape, Andy, but don't go at it too hard. You've got to be a little careful. The old heart isn't any too strong. Oh, what do you mean? Well, it's pumping pretty hard. Oh, hoy. It always does that just before a fight. When I won the championship, it was doing nip-ups. May I come in? Hello there, Carlton. Oh, hello, Andy. Where'd you come? We came down to see the fight. The is outside. I'd like to speak to you, Andy. Yeah? Okay. Outside, everybody. So long, Doc. So long, Andy. Remember, take it easy as you can. Don't put too much strength on the old bump. Oh, stop worrying. I'll be around when you die from your own pills. <laughs> Good luck, Andy. All right. Come in, Linda. Hello, Andy. Hello. Well, what's it all about? You want to take Dink away again, huh? No. We know we can't do the impossible. We're not going to try anymore. Well, Lindy, that... Now, that's good sense. You're going to see a fight tonight. I'm taking care of that kid from now on. Andy, I'm betting $5,000. 
on Jiroga. What? That's great. A real pal, huh? You don't understand. We're betting that money for you, Andy. Oh, I don't get this. What do you mean for me? Look, Andy, when we came down here, we heard that, well, the odds are pretty much against you. They say you can't stand another fight. Oh, they're crazy. Maybe they are. Anyway, we don't want you to run any risks. If you find the fight isn't going right, don't worry. You'll have the money for Dink anyway. Yeah? Now, you listen, Linda. I've got a chance tonight. The chance of my life to make good with that kid, and I'm going to do it. Dink's going to be watching, seeing when it's over, he's going to be proud of me. And everything's going to be okay. I hope so, Andy. Good luck. Same here, Andy. Okay, champ, here we go. Sure, sure. Listen to me. You can't last at top speed. Stay away, do you hear? And wait for an opening. And when you get it, keep right after him. Okay, Sponge. Leave it to me. Hey, Champ. I'm here, Champ. Hiya, Dinkus. You're going to see some fighting tonight, kid. Sure. How do you feel, Champ? Oh, I feel great. Your gloves okay? Sure. Here. Spit on them for luck. Sure. I can't lose now, Dinkus. Go on, sit down there and get a load of this. every round. Oh, Tony, look at his face. He's being cut to pieces. I can't stand it. I'm going outside. Wait, darling. I'll go with you. Come on, Manuel. He'll get it in this round. Get him, Manuel. A champ's throw. He's staggering all over the ring. Get him, Manuel. Kill him. There it is. He's down. The champ is down. <laughs> Five, six, seven. Champ, the bell saved you, boy. Snap out of it. Come on, snap out of it, champ. Okay, okay. Are you all right? Yes, sure I'm all right. He's, he's hitting me here in the heart. Can you go back there, champ? Are you sure? I'll toss the towel in now if you give me the word. No, no, I, I gotta finish. I gotta. Let me fight, Sponge. Let me fight. Okay, champ. <laughs> Hiya, 
right, Dink. I guess, I guess we shoot him, huh? Nice fight, Andy. Hello, Doc. Well, I better go easy, huh, Doc? I'm proud of hey, you, Andy. Chip, Chip, just one more picture, will you, Chip? One more picture. Sure. Huh. How do you want me? You want to see the, the points that... Oh. Hey, Chip, what's the matter? Nothing, I... I've got a pain in... Chip! Chip! Get back, get back, everybody, get back. Take him to the dressing room, quick. see him, please. Take it easy, Dink. Doc, can I go in, Doc? Sure. Go ahead. Oh, gee, thanks. How is he, Doc? Any chance? Not one in a million. There's nothing I can do. Nothing. Champ, gee, Champ, what happened? Are you okay? Sure. Come here, Dink. I want to speak to you. What about, Champ? Look, your mother's here. Did you know that? No. Yes. She came, came down to get you. This time, I, I think that you ought to stay with her, Dink. Why, Chip? Why can't I stay with you? Because. Oh, Dink, they, they ain't no use kidding, is they? You see, I, I ain't staying around long. Understand? Oh, gee, Chip. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> that ain't no way to act. Listen, she's your mother, see? And you ought to call her that. No more of this Linda stuff. For me... Okay, Chip. Atta boy. Remember, keep your chin up. Keep... Everything's going to be all right. Come on. Give me a smile. Chip! 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 <laughs> oh, my darling. My poor darling. Oh, gee. Oh, gee, mother. Mother. The gem's gone. Before our stars return for the curtain call, here's Libby Collins, our fashion reporter. Say, Libby, what's this I hear about patches being popular? Uh, they couldn't be smarter, Mr. Ruick. Every little bit of fabric is precious these days, and we're saving every inch. Wearing patches on our elbows, uh, patchwork jackets, and turbans made out of odds and ends of fabric stitched together. Yes, we're saving fabric and having a lot of fun doing it. Well, uh, when it comes to saving fabrics, Libby... Well, we uh... can count on new quick lux flakes to help us. Well, that's right, because saving fabric means not only using every scrap of material, but keeping the things we own bright and new-looking and wearable longer. And that's a job that Lux Flakes does superbly well for all your washables, because it's so gentle, safe for anything safe in plain water. You see, there's no harmful alkali in Lux to injure fabrics or fade colors. And, of course, with Lux, there's none of the cake soap rubbing that's so hard on fabrics either. You know, it costs less than a penny to Lux a dress, so you're saving money, too. Get the thrifty big box of Lux Flakes first thing tomorrow. Use it for all your washables, dresses, blouses, and sweaters, and see for yourself how much it helps you save. Now, here's Mr. DeMille with our stars. For many years, audiences have come to expect fine performances from Wallace Beery, and for somewhat fewer years, from Josephine Hutchinson. And they've never been disappointed. Oh, thank you, C.B. It seems only yesterday that uh, you and I were making a picture together, don't we? Uh, Funny, I don't remember the picture, Wally. Well, it was just a few years back, Josephine. Let me see about Well, it. let's see. Nobody talked in the picture, C.B. Must have been more than, uh, oh, ten years ago. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. We, we used a camera with a hand crank. That moves it back some more. <laughs> now, just a minute. Now, think carefully, Wally. Did Mr. DeMille wear a cap turned round backwards? Well, yes, I guess he... Oh, wait, wait. I, I'm not that old, no. <laughs> <laughs> we may as well face the facts, Wally. It was 25 years ago that we made that picture. 
You were quite a romantic leading man at the time. Yeah, our times have changed, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, Wally, we all appreciate your giving up that fine fishing at your ranch to come down here and go back to work. Oh, I always have a great time here, Josephine. You know, while I was coming down through the mountains, I noticed that everything up there is pretty dry. There's a big danger of forest fires this year. I believe the United States Forest Service says that this is the most menacing fire season in American history, Wally, particularly in the West. So it's up to all of us who visit our national forests, or any forest, or even in our own backyards, to be very, very careful about smoking and the use of matches in wooded and brush areas. That seems to be pretty sound advice, Mr. DeMille. What's your play next week? A play that teamed two great stars on the screen. The RKO dramatic success, Love Affair. We'll have those same two stars next Monday night. So that means you'll hear Irene Dunn and Charles Boyer. <laughs> Love Affair is one of the finest stories the screen has ever given us. And I don't need to tell you, it will be finely acted with Charles Boyer and Irene Dunn. Well, you couldn't have anything I'd like better than that, C.B. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. A champ had a champion performance. And now, ladies and gentlemen, an announcement that I'm happy to make because it concerns an old friend of yours and mine, one of the theater's most beloved comedians, Miss Edna May Oliver. On stage and screen, she's brought us laughter and gaiety for many years. And now she'll star in a new series of comedy programs on the air. Miss Oliver's new program begins next Sunday night. Your local paper will give you the time and station. Our sponsors, the makers of Lux Flakes, join me in inviting you to be with us again next Monday night when the Lux Radio Theater presents Irene Dunn and Charles Boyer in Love Affair. This is Cecil B. DeMille saying good night to you from Hollywood. Special wartime announcement. Do you know that only two pounds of waste kitchen fats contain enough glycerin to fire five anti-tank shells? Your country needs all your waste kitchen fats. Don't throw away a single drop. Strain your bacon fat, used fats, meat drippings into a clean, wide-mouthed can. Keep them on hand because your local salvage committee will soon announce plans for its collection. Save waste kitchen fats now to make explosives. Heard in tonight's play were Charles Seal as Sponge, Phil Herlick as Jonah, and Leo Cleary, Stanley Farrar, Jack Mather, Griff Barnett, Fred Mackay, Howard McNear, Jose Perez, Gwen Delano, Edward Marr, and Arthur Q. Bryan. Tune in next Monday night to hear Charles Boyer and Irene Dunn in Love Affair. Our music was directed by Louis Silvers, and your announcer has been Melville Roy.